But Jared Vanderbilt out. Coach Calipari said Thursday that others would need to step up. That someone today was Winyan Gabriel, the only player on the Cats with SEC tournament experience. Let's check out the highlights. Cats down 10-8 early. Hamadou Diallo nails a triple. And Kentucky would never trail after that. Cats up 15-14. Winyan Gabriel providing some separation. How about all the blue in St. Lou? Looked like a home game. 23-16 Cats after SGA knocks down a three. He had 19 points and eight assists. And how about this play? Shea, the crafty move, finds Washington. The hesitation and the slam. That's explosion. The mean mug from P.J. Look at that. And then Jared Vanderbilt, he's all smiles. Back to Winyan Gabriel. The broadcaster was legit calling him Winyan's Gabriel. And by the end of this one, he was getting his name right. After all, he did have plenty of reps. Cats led 29 to 19 at recess. Second half, Shea, the drive, will serve one up, and Sasha will send it home. Clea Jones, and then back to Winyan. He plays a little around the world, top of the key. Bang, right corner. Yes, that's the Marv Albert call. Cats up 17. Look who's there, the Grinch, and he has heart. Left corner, how about some string music from Winyan? UK up 18 points. How about a right wing three this time? Winyan after this one, six of six from downtown. Didn't really matter at that point, but now it does, because Alabama had cut it down to nine points. Gabriel, how about that? Seven of seven from deep. He scores a team high 23. His seven threes are an SEC tournament record. Hats win big, 86 to 63. Keith Farmer joins us live with our True Blue St. Lou coverage. Keith. Charlie, before today, two Wildcats had had the chance to hit six three-pointers in an SEC tournament game. Well, Winnie and Gabriel shoots past them with seven against Alabama. And, you know, I'm not even sure that he hit any rim when he hit those three-pointers as he led UK with 23. I mean, it just feels like, you just, I don't feel like I was throwing a rock in the ocean. You could have missed. Yeah, when he's making shots like that, defense have to stick. Um, or I just get in the lane and, and they give me a layup. But uh, they, they came to me a couple times in the layup and he was wide open. I knew I had to find him and give him the ball. And he, he didn't miss tonight. And it, was, it was perfect. This is definitely giving me more confidence of shooting. You know, you make seven to threes. So um, next game, I'm definitely going to continue to be aggressive. How fun was that watching Wendy? Yeah, it was real fun. I mean, just seven for seven, that was great. I mean, it was great to watch. So he's showing you that none of his shots hit the rim. It was crazy. It was nothing but net. And William was terrific today. So was Sasha. Uh, they both played great on uh, both ends of the floor, making shots. Uh, William was making shots. Sasha was getting easy dump offs. And uh, he had a lob dunk. So, I mean, it was just great. Uh, I'm happy for them guys, and I hope they uh, bring it tomorrow. I think we can even be better than we did today. I think, uh, you know, we even had guys that, you know, are capable of you know, so much more. And uh, when, when we're all hitting our stride like this, and then when we have a game where everybody's playing as well as they can, it's, I don't think anybody in the country wants to play us. Sasha, another key performer for the Wildcats, especially with Jan Jared Vanderbilt being out. He earned the start in the second half, and he performed well. Six points, five rebounds, and two block shots. Really key for these Wildcats as they go for a 31st overall SEC tournament championship and a fourth in a row. Charlie, back to you. The SEC title is set. Tennessee and Kentucky. The Vols beat Arkansas today 84-66. to UK lost both of their regular season matchups against Rocky Top. And what's crazy about it is the fact that Tennessee was picked 